Hello, my name is Rampin Mystic and welcome back to Slay the Spire. And today we have a sort of interesting day. I was gonna say really interesting, but it's actually sort of interesting. I'd go as far as classified as a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 7. On the Rampin Mystic scale. Anyway, today's daily is a daily for December 20th, the character's defect. Again, we've been having a lot of defect uh, dailies recently. Uh, so modifiers are heirloom, start with one random, with one rare relic, of course it's gonna be random, uh, because we don't know what it is. Flight, you may ignore pass when choosing the next room to travel to, I really like this one. And big game hunter, at least are now swarming the spire and drop better rewards. It's a kind of a high scoring run, as you can see it's mostly 1.7k, so let's try and reach above 1.2 maybe? We are gonna be, oh, bird paste turn, okay, so this is probably a power build. I mean, let's try and uh, at least try and go for a score. Yeah. Okay. If it's a low score, I'm not gonna be. Uh, I could hit that one and hope to not get hit, but no. Yeah, they both hit it. I was gonna kill it. Until cast. Uh, so, like I was saying, we aren't really gonna be focusing too much on the score, but you know, let's at least attempt to get a better score than previous two what just happened there than the previous runs. Big potion. Auto shield. Sweeping beam. I mean it's AoE. I'm gonna need AoE. So question mark here, right? I don't want to go to a shop this early. Is there gonna be a later shop? Yes, but it intersects with one elite. I can skip one elite. It's fine. I'm probably gonna skip way more than a single elite. Trigger trap. Yes, the gold idol is way too good. Now I might actually take the injury. Yeah, I'm gonna take the injury. Uh, I'm gonna remove it. I mean, it's uh, it's normally not a good idea to uh, defrag. I want to defrag and I want to remove it. But, uh, uh, I'm gonna remove it first. Uh, generally, it's not a good idea to pick up a curse for gold or for something else to get, you know, uh, to get the item or whatever it is you're getting. And that's primarily because, well, you're going to lose gold afterwards because you're going to be removing the curse. And when you remove the curse, yeah, you're going to say, but it's only, for example, 75 gold. That's not true. It's actually more than 75 gold. Because the next time you remove something, it's gonna be a hundred. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say. Here, uh, actually, this is really nice. Darkness could go for a darkness pat bow, but if it was upgraded, I would definitely take it. I mean, it's a really good. Do I try darkness? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna try it. Let's try darkness. Ooh, dice chest with a potion belt. So here's gonna be our first elite. Yeah, and afterwards we'll probably upgrade. Or should I upgrade then elite? Yeah, you know, upgrade then elite. I wanna upgrade the uh, actually both darkness and sweeping beam. I think darkness takes priority because this is gonna be our uh, win condition basically. And afterwards we're probably upgrading again. We're gonna go for at least three elites this far, hopefully. So we want darkness first. We want to play it. I shouldn't sweeping beam, but I should zap. Next turn he's gonna wake up, so at least I'm gonna get the darkness orb up. That's really important. Oh, and it instantly starts with twelve. Okay, so a second darkness wouldn't go amiss. With a single capacitor or machine loader, it would be insane. Oh, right. Uh, there was a patch note. And the there's a couple of things that they added. One of which is if you hover over these, they're gonna highlight now the legend. They're just gonna highlight, and that's the most important stuff in my opinion. Of course, there were a lot of bug fixes, a lot of uh, uh, language additions or fixes. I don't know what to call them exactly. And the other thing was VFX for sweeping beam and for entangled for web from the uh, whatever it was called the slaver. So, I actually just need to defend myself because the curse, the Dark Orb is just gonna take care of everything now. Now we trigger, 
we dual cast this. I mean, I don't have much of a choice, so I'm not defending here. Which is really bad. Yeah, so that's really cool. And the Dark Orb will now kill. As soon as I get... Yeah, Darkness is out. So Centennial Puzzle is kind of nice. Machine Learning. Or Buffer. Uh, machine Learning, I think, is a priority, then it's gonna be Buffer. <sighs> now, this is a hard choice. I should go for another lead, but I would rather rest, then go for an elite after the chest, then I can go for a second elite as well. We'll see how things go. I wanted to upgrade the uh, Sweeping Beam because it's gonna be important. There's gonna be a Sentry Fight. Shuriken is sort of nice, but it's not gonna be part of the build that I'm trying to do. There's the Sentry Fight I was talking about. And I can't even defend myself. The weakness potion is pointless, so this is the best I can do. There's the sweeping beam. Okay, so machine learning is gonna heal me for a little bit. Sweeping beam must happen here. It's AoE damage, that's basically 18 damage. I can't kill this one, but I do want to play darkness, so I'm gonna concede a lot of health here. If I don't defend, so yeah, I'm gonna defend. Defending though actually uh, slows down the kills. Thus meaning I'm going to get a lot more dazes. Which is actually really, really bad. That basically slows down my deck. I draw like three dazes and two cards, or two aggressive cards, and I need to defend, and it's... Ah. Okay, so I can kill this one, and I should. So I'm taking the damage this turn, but I'm not taking any next turn, at least. And no dazes. Oh yeah, right, I'm going to take dazes this next turn. You see, I drew cards that I didn't need. I could have drawn an extra strike there if I didn't have so many dazes. Sweeping Beam. I'm killing the back line. That's for sure. There's no point in defending if I can prevent the 9 damage by killing the sentry. Ah, this one's dead. I'm not gonna draw any more powers anyway, so... The boot is kind of nice. Uh, we don't need bias cognition. This one upgraded is uh, just gonna be insane because I'm gonna have a bunch of dark orbs. Or at least that's what I'm planning on doing. So I shouldn't go for another late because I might die. So I'm gonna go for a couple of question marks. Remove a guard for 7 HP. Yes please. I'm actually gonna take this because I wanna thin out the deck. I just want it to be defensive. As defensive as possible. And. I'm gonna do this once, Lagavulin is gonna show up and kill me. Okay, it didn't. Now we leave. Here we rest, and then we take the elite. 34. It's gonna be Gremlin Knob, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh no, it's Lagavulin. Oh, okay. We got a darkness up. That's insane. So now we zap and... Do I dual cast now? I'm gonna draw these, and I have a chance to draw into uh, the Dark Orb again, so yeah. I'm not gonna do it. There's machine learning. I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do fission yet. That's gonna remove my dark orb and that's really important to me. Okay, he wakes up this turn. He wakes up at on the third turn. Playing zap here is more damage than playing a single strike, so I'm gonna do that. So the darkness orb, if I get dual cast now is a lot is a lot of damage. And there's a dual cast. There's a darkness as well, so we we darkness. We dual cast first because it's gonna be more damage. Then we darkness. I can actually easily fission here, and hope to draw into. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll draw into a lethal here. No, I didn't. If I had drawn the zap there, I would have had lethal now. I am. Am I gonna weaken it? What's the oh, it's a slime fight. I was hoping it's a hexaghost fight. The hexaghost fight would have mean that would have meant that I didn't need to rest. No, what? Oh, I just defended, which is really bad. I wanted to be aggressive this turn. Oh, that's with sweeping beam. I might have had lethal. Singing ball is nice. Dex potion. I actually want buffer. I do want buffer, don't I? Well, if anything, I'm actually gonna take, even if I don't take buffer, I'm gonna take reboot. So, I'm gonna take buffer. I need to rest. Uh, this boss fight can kill me. 
with ease, with ease. That can one shot me on 40 HP, let alone on uh, whatever I was, 30 ish. So machine learning. I'm not gonna play this yet, not buffer yet. I should have probably played the strike there. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Not gonna be playing fission until I upgrade it. I don't need to do anything here. I don't want to take damage against this boss fight. Basically. Can I pull out 30 defense? No, I cannot. Can I split him? No, I cannot. Alright, now, this is a dilemma. I, Considering I thinned down my deck a little bit, a small amount, not too much. I drew all my strikes in a single defense. I'm gonna drink the dex potion. That's gonna be my only defense, which is really bad. Yeah, dual cast upon door. We don't want it. I wouldn't have gotten it below 70. There's no way that's happening. If I had gotten buffer, it would have been really nice, but I didn't. So I'm not gonna play buffer yet, I'm just gonna remove two slimes. I think it's more important. He's gonna about to add three more, so... Yeah. There's a darkness again. So this orb now does an insane amount of damage as soon as I draw a dual cast. So here I buffer. This way, when he attacks next time, I can actually just pass the turn. But unless I get dual cast. That's gonna be 100 damage, so that's lethal, actually. Seek is really nice, I should take it. Yep. Great be statue. I mean, I did get potion slots. I could get the lizard tail. I'm gonna go for a white beast statue. I play a lot of potions. I would drink a lot of potions. Not play, drink a lot of potions. Let's begin here. I'm gonna go towards the shop. Really, you're choosing to attack me on the first turn. How surprising is that? What a big surprise. I'd say darkness. Do cast. I should play buffer, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have. Okay, so we didn't perfect the first boss, so there goes our above a thousand. I can almost guarantee that. I should just defend him. I'm gonna defend and just a single strike. Don't wanna play the zap. I I'm gonna be removing the zap. Okay. 27. Oh, I'm vul vulnerable. Of course I am. Come on, draw the dual cast by some freak of nature accident because I know it's in the discard pile. I, I know that. But still, that's a bunch of damage that I did not need to take. So I'm gonna play the buffer. Primarily because it's healing at this point. I can actually seek out, I can seek out the dual cast, but I can't play it this turn, so. There it is. So I'm gonna darkness and dual cast just to pour salt into the wound. Block potion. Steam barriers is really nice and I should definitely take it. I should be taking max HP, don't get me wrong, but I'm still trying to build up the deck. Or Calcom's nice, so is medical kit though. And I don't need any of these. So, medical kit, card removal, and zap. I don't want to play zap anymore. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't need to go to another shop. Do I need more fights? No, I don't. Removal strikes for five bites. I do not have the blood thing, and I've been removing strikes, so. Thanks, but no thanks. Remove card, upgrade all strikes and defense. I might actually uh, take the upgrade because I'm I have like only I've only picked up a steam barrier basically, so that's gonna upgrade four defense and three strikes. I I'm gonna be removing the strikes. Don't get me wrong. Normally I'd remove a card, but at this point I, I haven't thinned down the deck too much, so I'm gonna upgrade. Do I go for a question mark or for a fight? Final question mark probably on this floor. And it's yep for a reward. Okay. You know what? Here goes another strike. It's upgraded, but... Yeah. I mean, I could get a full heal here if I offer one of these. One of these four. No, just take the strike. It's fine. Just remove the strike. I mean, it's a free card removal. You can't go wrong there. Oh boy. So... This is not good. I mean, the best thing I can do is defend buffer steam barrier. Steam barrier, yeah, buffer. So that prevents 
7 damage basically, because the midline of the Taskmaster is going to hit second. Actually, it prevents 5 only. Uh, that's not good. Ch let's channel darkness. Channel the darkness inside of you. Yeah, only a single defense. I shouldn't have played Sweeping Beam, but... You know what? I have White Beast Statue. Might as well play the potion. I'm sorry I stopped there, but for a second there I thought I had Steam Barrier. And then I realized I can't have it because it's in my discard pile. Single defend and machine learning. These guys are actually gonna kill me, aren't they? Because I do not defend that well, which is a surprise. Mm. That's really bad. It's not good. Defend, defend. Am I? I'm dead, aren't I? I need to fission here. Otherwise, I'm dead. And I can seek out what the steam barrier. Uh, yeah, I should definitely do that. Can't believe I'm still dead. No, I'm not dead. Never mind. I'm gonna die in this fight, really. Okay, so I'm definitely playing the Steam Barrier. Two, three, uh, okay. Now what can I do here? Darkness, defend, defend. If I had to dual cast it, it wasn't, yeah, it was gonna kill the back one. It was gonna defend me for eight, so. I'm dead. Um. In my defense, I've never actually tried a Dark Bell with the new darkness. I have done dark bells before. Uh, on ascension. With doom and gloom. But... I don't know. Uh, what am I gonna do now? I can't upload a 20 minute episode. Oh. Uh, and I was planning on getting a high score. I shouldn't have gone for that elite. I shouldn't have. I knew I wasn't ready. I knew this build takes time to... The darkness build takes time to get into proper form. When it does, it does an insane amount of damage. I made a lot of mistakes there, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Achievements are off. Uh, because I've already done it once, it's not gonna actually count my score because I know what happens. These are seeded. I don't remember what happens, but they are seated. Now, uh, I'm, this is gonna be a failure episode. People are not gonna watch it, they're not gonna like it, they're gonna hate it. But you, you have to learn to fail. So, I'm gonna fall gracefully here, and I'm gonna say that my name has been Rampant Mist. I know you haven't enjoyed this episode. I know this episode has been really short, and I know that people are gonna hate it because I died early. And I'm releasing a 20 minute episode. But hopefully people will think it's a speedrun. So my name has been, as I said, Rampant Mystic. And I'll see you all in the next episode.